Hello everyone, this is Marco speaking. So previously we updated our code base to read environment variables from parameter store instead of reading them directly from .env or from the parameter section into our cloud provider. So for example, in the last Beanstalk, we have a section for adding the environment variables to our application, which is this one. So here we have the environment variables. So instead of reading them from here, we're now reading from parameter store, which is a centralized place for storing your parameters. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to update. So the staging environment, which is the testing environment, will only be able to access the development variables, these two, and the production section will be able to access all of them, the development and the production in a more dynamic way. Okay, great. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to update the code. So we're not going to pass the slash dev directly. This is going to be interpreted from the, the current environment. So let's do this. I'm going to create a utility function, which is able to identify the current staging, which is the code is running. I'm going to call it app dot utils. I'm going to say, I'm going to stop this for now. I'm going to create this function. So we're going to read from the dot NV. Yeah, this is the only variable that we're going to keep in the environment variable section. If the node ENV is equals to production, then we return true. Otherwise, it's false. This is a function that identifies whether our code is running on production or staging. So here on the parameter store section, what are we going to do? We're going to import this function. And then we're going to parse the parameter key. I'm going to create a new string here, which is going to identify the current environment, which is a string this dot current environment is if it's production what we're going to do this is going to be slash prod for production otherwise it's going to be slash dev so now we parse the environment here this dot current env slash parameter key and now in our code that we defined here, the slash dev slash slash chat GPT, we remove the, the first part. This is going to be added dynamically in the parameter store service. So it's going to be the current environment slash, there's a slash here, and the environment variable name. If you prefer, you can also remove this and read directly on the on the place that we pass the environment variable name. But I decided to pass this last year. It's up to you. Okay, perfect. So if it, this is production, if we are running on production, then it's going to be slash prod. Otherwise, it's going to be slash dev. So dynamically, we're going to be able to read from slash dev or slash prod in our application. And this is it. Now let's zip the code and deploy it into a last beanstalk. Okay, great. So the code was successfully updated for both environments, the staging environment and the production environment. So if we copy the URL here for the staging environment, and then we try to test the application on, on Postman, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm going to paste it here, and I'm going to copy the path to the route then paste it here and is a get route so let's see what's gonna happen you see that the code fails because the IAM role which you, which my elastic beanstalk application is using doesn't have the right permissions to read parameters from parameter store so this is what we need to, to update if you remember well if we try to use this in our application here locally yarn start dev so if i try to run this locally 
For example, this is the local host running on my machine and then I try to read this. You will see that the code works perfectly because on my machine I don't have to pass any credentials because I'm using the credentials installed on my machine because I have AWS CLI properly installed. So if I do AWS dash dash version, I have, oh sorry. So you can see that I have AWS CLI properly installed and I already configured the credentials on my machine. So when I try to run the code on my machine, the application is ready the, the credentials installed on my machine. But when we try to do this on Elastic Beanstalk, it's ready the credentials from the IAM role. So this is the staging environment that we defined previously. And then when we go here into the security section, we can see the IAM instance profile, which is being used on this Elastic Beanstalk environment. So if we allow the, the staging environment to access the development variables, these two, we need to update this IAM role and allow the access to the staging environment variables into Elastic Beanstalk. So let's do this. I'm going to open up IAM. On the role section, I'm going to look for the IAM role which is being used here. This AWS Elastic Beanstalk staging environment ENV role, which is this one. As you can see, there's nothing here that allows us to access parameter store. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new policy for doing this. On the policy section, I'm going to create a new policy. The service is going to be systems manager. It's going to be a read access, which is going to be the get parameter here. The get parameter. And if you also, if you want to read multiple parameters by prefix, for example, have to add the get parameters, but I'm not going to do this in my case. This is up to you for your use case. The resources, let's add the resource. So the region is going to be US West 2, which is the region that I'm using here. So this is going to be US West 2. And the parameter name is going to be dev slash asteriscus. So this policy is adding the permissions for reading everything under dev prefix. So all the dev variables will be allowed to be read by this policy. So the slash dev chat GPT open AI API key and the slash dev slash chat GPT slash organization ID. So by this permission here, we are, we are giving the access to everything that starts with dev. And that's it. Okay, perfect. Let me check this again. The ERN West 2 and dev slash asteriscus. Add. And then let's go to the tag session. I don't need tags. I'm going to call this SSM for systems manager parameter store dev variables. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to create this policy. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to do the same for allowing the access to the production environment variables. The service is going to be systems manager again. Let's go to the, the list, the get parameter. And then for the resources, I'm going to add the ARN, which is going to be for the US West 2 region. And now it's going to be for the broad slash asterisk. So anything under broad is going to be allowed for this policy. Text review. So here is going to be broad variables. Perfect. Now we have the two policies that we need. Let's go to the roles again. Let's search for this AWS Elastic Beanstalk staging ENV role, which is this one. 
and then I'm going to attach the policy that we just created for the development for the staging environment variables attach policy and the name is this one this is the one that allows the dev access attach policy perfect now our staging env role has access to the dev variables on parameter store if we go back to the postman and then we go to the to the elastic beanstalk url let's try again sometimes we have to wait a little bit to allow elastic beanstalk to be properly updated and in a few minutes we try again okay great after a few minutes let's try again okay perfect as you can see now we can access the development variables on a on perimeter store from our last beanstalk environment because of the iam role and the policies that we attached to the iam role for the staging environment so now let's do the same for the production if we go here into our application let's go to the production let's go to the configuration section let's go to the security section and this is the instance profile that we're using on the production version so let's find this one here into the roles it's going to be it's actually this one aws elastic beanstalk is it your role this is the one that we that we are using in production aws elastic beanstalk is it your role AWS allows the beanstalk is your role. So, okay, great. So this is the production IAM role. And now let's attach two permissions here. The first one for reading the, the development variables on perimeter store. And the second one will be for reading the production variables on the perimeter store. Attach policy. Okay, great. So the first one will be to read the, the dev variables. And the second one will be to read the broad variables. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have to change here to be broad. Okay, great. This is the one for reading broad variables. And let's attach to the, to the IAM role for the broad environment on the last beanstalk. So the broad environment can read both the dev variables we are not using the dev variables for the for the production environment, but if you prefer, we can also add it. And we also created and we're also adding the one for reading the broad variables. So let's test this out. Let's go back to the production version. Copy the URL here. Let's go back to Postman. I'm going to replace here to be the production URL. Let's remove the double slash here and then let's send the message perfect so now both cases are reading the environment variables from parameter store instead of reading them from dot env or for the parameter section in the cloud provider so this is it now you have a granular access to parameter store for individual environments if you have any doubt, just ask me on the comment section. If you like this kind of video, just give me a thumbs up, share this video with, with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I hope you liked it, and I see you in the next time.